Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Jamie Sieber 23. Okay, so um, since I've been posting this, the information about narcissism and the experience that I had, I've had a lot of you that email me about your terrible experiences because I guess it's too personal. You don't want to put it in the comment section. That's understandable. <laughs> I appreciate all the messages that you guys send me, and I'm sorry that you guys went through all of that. Here's the thing. I think that, um, yes, bad chapters are to be closed. Some of you wrote... Now I never, ever want to date again. No, 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 no. That's not what we're going for here. No. The goal is to see the signs and then move on. So thankfully, after 55 minutes, I got the, all those red flags and I was just like, I can never have this person in my energy space ever again. They're toxic. You know, they, they scare the hell out of me. You know, so I didn't see that person. But that does that mean I stopped dating after that? No, I continued to date for all those months. I, con I continued to find other people. I made very good connections, had very fun times, good experiences. I don't know if you guys noticed, but all during that time of terror that I kept that man away, I'm posting videos. I'm taking care of myself. I'm laughing and joking, and I look better than I ever have, right? Do you think that's because I was sitting at home crying? Oh, hell no. I was dating, meeting new people. So just because you have a bad romantic experience, does that mean that you should just not date anybody for 10 years? No. I only invested 55 minutes in person with that, with that psychopath. Only 55 minutes. Does that mean that I should then take a six-month break because I spent 55 minutes with a psychopath? No. No. The very next day I was seeing other people. The very next day I was getting new connections. Why should I be punished? Because I spent 55 minutes with a nut job. Same thing with you guys. You guys are sending me these messages. Yeah, I went on a, on a date four years ago and it was the worst date ever. And then the guy spied on me and stalked me for a month. Now, now I've been single for all those years. No, no. I mean, I can't tell you guys what to do. But please put this into perspective. There's good and bad in the world. You know, may, you know, yeah, I never met anybody as sick as this person. Um, but, you know, I, I look at the positives to this. At least now I know what to look for in the future, right? At least, you know, I started dating. It, even though, you know, that probably wasn't the best person to have my, you know, first date after my divorce with. But, like, you know, at least I learned what to not, you know, what to watch out for. Because I didn't know that there were people like that out there. I, I mean, I guess, yeah, because I watched Discovery ID. I guess I knew in some way. But I didn't real. I, it never happened to me before. I never met anybody that sick before. Um, so it was, a, it was a learning lesson. It was a, it was a lesson. I'm not scarred. I'm not damaged. I'm moving on. I'm having very good experiences. You know, my life is positive. I, you know, I'm looking for, you know, love. I mean, yeah, there is somebody that I'm kind of exclusively dealing with currently, but that if he starts being crazy, then that could change, right? So I have free will, just like you guys have free will. Just because you had one bad relationship or five or ten does not mean that you should give up on love completely. Why shouldn't you have a partner? Why shouldn't you have an equal? Why shouldn't you have, you know, good times with the same person? Why not? You know, that, that's what life is made of. Companionship is what life is made of. I give myself five hours a week of Jamie time. You know, I think I'm old enough. I think I've paid my dues. I think I have the right to have five hours a week to myself. That's what I do. I have a babysitter. I have cameras in my home. I, you know, I'm going on nice dinners. You know, I mean, I probably shouldn't say this, but even last night, you know, I, I, I went to a, I was invited, you know, out to dinner. We went to a nice room. There were rose petals involved. Um, it was the best Valentine's Day I ever had, and it's not even freaking Valentine's Day yet. So, I mean, <laughs> so nobody has to worry about me or feel bad for me. I'm fine. And I don't want you guys to feel bad for yourselves. I want you to go out there and meet the right guy. Just because the guy yesterday was bad doesn't mean that the guy tomorrow is going to be bad. Put it into perspective. Use common sense. Please. It doesn't, oh, oh my God, Jamie Zero 23 had a bad experience. That means I should never date. What does my one, one psychopath experience have to do with you dating? It has, that has nothing to do with the price of tea in China. Live your best life and be happy. There's a million people in the world. Start, start hanging out. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.